Hey everybody, this is Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I made a journal yesterday that is for sale. It is built like the December daily I just did, but it's much smaller. It is, the cover is about five by seven and a quarter inches. You can see the spine is a couple of inches. And it is not, it doesn't have a lot of pages in it. The pages are about four by seven. And the nice thing about this journal is, of course, that all of the pages are sewn in, like I did the last one with these fabric strips on each page. They're not, it's not folded pages. Each page is an individual piece of uh, watercolor paper. So it's very heavy, nice art paper. And this inside image, I just love this. This came from a piece of music that I have in my collection. So I scanned that and just cut it down. The name of it is Don't Be Like That. Uh, one thing to remember about this, I don't have a laser printer. I have just an inkjet. So, you know, if you get a lot of water on this, it is going to run or fade. I don't let that deter me. My um, The Boho Birds December Daily Journal that I just finished, the covers on that are also from my inkjet printer. And you can see a couple of little spots where I dropped water and it faded the ink a little bit. You can also see where I laid it down in some of the blue distress ink where I had been working. And I, to me, that just adds to the grunge. It adds to the personality. Um, but I did want you to be aware if you purchase this journal that that is inkjet. One of the things that I love about this journal is the cover. I love this was an old English grammar and analysis book. It's got C.R. Mason, B.A. on the front. I love these numbers, three slash six. I guess this was book three out of six, or I'm not sure what this stands for. I really don't know. I love this. There is a little note here that looks like it's written in French. And I, I didn't completely cover that up. That was already in the book. This book was from the early 1900s, there was a person's name inscribed in the front and it had 1913 on it. So that's a little bit about the book itself. This fabric spine is just some beautiful upholstery fabric and you can see there are two rows of um, a pretty stitch from my sewing machine. It's got the little leaf pattern here with some gold thread. This book has a lot of room to work. As you fill it up, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna stand more open. When I send this out, I will tie a pretty ribbon or piece of fabric around it for you, and I will put some treasures in to use in your journal. So every page has got this strip of fabric, some type of fabric, and you can see the stitching. Uh, on some sides, it is lace. This is a little journal, again, about, you know, four by seven, the size of the pages. It's a journal in which you can do a lot of collage, a lot of grunge, a lot of art. These pages are heavy. They're going to hold up to uh, paint and ink. These are the kinds of pages I used where I mixed my... Um, distress ink with water on a brush and just really put a lot of layers in here. You also have space between the pages and you can see how this lays pretty flat. I love working in journals like this. So this could turn into a treasure. Now here in the center you can see this string. That's where this button was tied on and that's a pretty metal button. It looks like a flower. Uh, that fabric had a little spot on it. I just left it there. I like that. So it's just a pretty little journal that you can just art away. Uh, you might remember on the Boho Birds journal that I just finished, I loved having fabric. Let me 
see if I can find a... I loved having fabric on the edges of the pages like this because you can hook little things like that with a safety pin or whatever. It just gives you a place you can stitch things to this. So, just going right on through. You can see that beautiful trim. And then the back, um, there's this little pocket where a library card was in a different book. It says Baker and Taylor, I think. Honestly, I'm, my eyes are really starting to tell how old I am. And this card came from a book called What People Wore When, and I'm gonna have to show you this book. Oh my goodness, I recently bought five gorgeous, wonderful books for reference in my studio. So that's the whole book, and this is a book for you to work in and turn it into a grungy treasure or however, whatever style you want to journal in. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 pages um, and of course then you have front and back so that should be 24 24 spaces on which to work thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon I have some other things to share thank you for watching bye